Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are on the uh, Interenchere uh, website again and we're looking at uh, an auction by uh, the Vichy uh, Enchere uh, auctioneers uh, and it is for uh, strings and wind instruments, mainly pluck strings, but I think there are a few odd uh, violins and things in there. Uh, this sale is actually happening tomorrow um, on May the 1st, so it's the 30th of April uh, 2021 uh, today. So you can see here the sale starts in about 14 hours. Um, there are a lot of lots in this sale. I think there's something like 403 of 413. There you go, 413 lots. And the um, buyer's premium is 24%. Uh, this auction is based in France, um, in Paris, I believe. Um, so yeah, um, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, check all the information about fees if you're shipping outside of Europe. Um, and internationally, there's other things. There may be other fees for buying online and stuff like that. So as always, just kind of have a look. Um, so without further ado, let's kind of crack on as we've got so many uh, things to to look at um, you can see here as normal the terms and things like that so always good to investigate that um, let's start and just see what we've got uh, so lot one is a uh, Mirko uh, mandolin from 1850 Paul uh, Boucher label looks in fairly good condition nice bird's eye on the on the back so yeah looks like a fairly nice um, instrument then we go on to lot two uh, Roman mandolin Paris circa 1900 concert fingerboard good condition yeah so it's a bowl back uh, type uh, mandolin an experimental flat bottom mandolin made in Paris by Mario uh, Machocci it's quite uh, curious 1938 that is a, a little bit uh, odd but the bridge is kind of inside a, it's like a double top but the yeah the second top's cut in so that's quite uh, quite curious uh, Neapolitan Mandolin by Luigi Vincentini It's got a broken bridge Nice bowl back mandolin Not incredible but uh, interesting enough Now this is a very nice mandolin Neapolitan Mandolin by Vincentius uh, Vinaccia Naples 1763 With original label stuck in uh, needs a good bit of restoration um, I would think that this would potentially go for quite a bit more than what this estimate is even given its uh, condition uh, the Vinaccia, Vinaccia um, mandolins are very highly regarded and usually quite valuable so I would be surprised if that goes for that low estimate but you never know um, right lot six flat mandolin made in Mirkorn around 1950 distorted plate good condition let's have a quick look yeah, it looks fairly normal uh, Stridente study mandolin damage table old restoration Another bowl back there. It's not too exciting that one. Ah, Abanduria by Salvador Ibanez in Valencia around 1890. These do come up occasionally on places like eBay. They're not so rare, but they're they're interesting. Uh, an English uh, five-string banjo, old time, circa 1900. Missing one hook. a lot of banjo collectors out there okay 
a Milanese base mandola made in the style of Monzino Presbla. It's quite interesting. Certificate from Daniel uh, Sinner de Ridia in a modern shaped cover. So that's quite an interesting uh, item there. Very nice. Lot 11, a Neapolitan star mandolin bearing an Ozelli label, Miracle 1890. Ready to play. Well, that's a rarity. Yep, looks actually quite a fairly nice mandolin. Uh, Neapolitan, Neapolitan mandolin by Aguildo Emmanuel in Paris, 1907. This is very. Uh, just bow back, very kind of standard. There's a lot of uh, pictures of this instrument for some reason. Um, another Mandol Estudiante, Paris. Some detached bits on the table. Looks actually a fairly nice instrument. Another Neapolitan mandolin, uh, Studente label. That's, yeah, that's a curious head encrusted with mechanics. That is quite curious to say. I've not quite seen one like that before, so that's unusual. I'm sure it will find a, a nice home. Uh, a double bass mandolin, style of Gellas, made by Patinotte in uh, Matenko. Uh, around 1950 interesting uh, plate mandolin circa 1930 and a flat mandolin around 1930 which is uh, fairly decent so far. Here's a nice Neapolitan mandolin by Giovanni Tedesco, Naples, 1896. Beautiful state of preservation. It's quite a fluted uh, bowl back there, so that's quite nice. Looks a fairly nice uh, instrument. Uh, a Gellas mandolin, circa 1908, with added sculptured fawn head, numerous breaks, unglued table as is. It's got the kind of uh, double top there. It's a uh, curious uh, beast, that one. Uh, yeah, literally a curious beast. Not sure about that one. A uh, Roman mandolin, attributed to Luigi Emberger, around 1900. I don't know much about that maker. Uh, the estimate is quite high, so I assume it must be an important maker. But, uh, it's not one that I am aware of. An anonymous bazooki, good condition, ready to play. In a shaped case. Good for the old uh, folk music. Uh, a zither banjo, circa banjo, circa 1900 in a beautiful leather case no and we don't get to see the case unfortunately uh, a mando uh, violoncelle interesting 1890 curious uh, instrument a mandol gelas from 1926 that uh, kind of double top a uh, neapolitan mandolin with label and iron mark of studente um, with hollow ribs mechanics hidden and engraved yes fluted uh, ribs on the back yeah, it's quite a nice looking uh, mandolin there i do like a good mandolin 
Uh, man, uh, flat mandolin made in Milk around 1900. Thomaran label. In collaboration with Cot Basque Auctions. Here. And a Baroque violin bearing transformation label by Patrick Arguentz. Good condition. Interesting uh, button there and uh, varnish, but looks nice. Could be potentially a good Baroque violin from someone. Uh, here we have a rare and beautiful, uh, it says citrus here. I'm not sure on that translation by uh, Gerard. Uh, de la Planck uh, with its title um, with its label in fact from 1771 77, 1777 as well as its iron mark um, interesting this is like an almost like a kind of an English guitar like a Sitton uh, type engine um, instrument I think that's probably where the translation is going wrong it's kind of uh, yeah, like a keyed guitar like a kind of Preston um, watch key tuned uh, English guitar sit and kind of type thing yeah it's a very beautiful uh, example yeah tend to look at the rose out on that it's quite uh, quite stunning that is really quite some uh, piece of work really so yeah not surprised on that estimate there 10 to 12,000 I think that's a beautiful that's like a museum piece uh, instrument for sure uh, two instruments popular violin made entirely of walnut a oh, popular violin made entirely of walnut uh, mandolin mechanics break on the table nice amateur work they include an anonymous Neapolitan mandolin There you go. This violin looks kind of interesting enough, actually, in some ways. Um, a mute violin, circa 1900. Uh, 19th century French, uh, I guess, kind of child's uh, violin. Traces of worm. Okay. Uh, large uh, voze um, ready to play kind of epinet uh, de Vosges type thing a small German viola de gamba made around 1900 in the Baroque style restoration on the bottom that's quite uh, quite nice this is an interesting auction it really does have some really interesting stuff uh, anonymous flag violin circa 1900 as is interesting translation here uh, mute violin in the form of pretzel hmm re-glued key missing the shell on the head good condition It's had a bit of damage to the scroll there. Uh, here we go. A violin in the style of Chano. Uh, missing some bits on the top and bottom. Poorly glued. Nice varnish. Beautiful patina. Needs a restoration. Yep, there's a backwards scroll. An interesting project for someone. Uh, an Egyptian oud made in Tunis by Ramin Bada, 1920, distorted table. She looks like a quite nice uh, oud. Uh, a zither, a violin kind of shape zither. She do see these about, but this is quite stunning. Uh, would actually on that one yeah 800 to a thousand that's something i'm not sure who really plays on those these days but there you go great oud of 1998 good condition ready to play this seems 
not so good uh, quality. Uh, Ukulele by Salvador uh, Ibanez, Valencia, Valencia, uh, circa 1900. So it needs a bit of repairs. There's a lot of people that collect these old uh, ukuleles. Uh, old Paris guitar my, made circa 1810 by Vice. It's got the iron mark. It needs a bit of restoration, but these guitars are very uh, popular. Uh, Cousineau art top uh, guitar made around 1940. It's a bit of a uh, repair. Old Spanish guitar, Valencia, Jose Maria uh, Dura. It's good playing condition. It's not a particularly high quality instrument. Uh, Ovation Thunderbolt electroacoustic guitar. It's interesting. Not seen one of those uh, before, I have to say. Probably for good reason. Uh, folk guitar bearing a Norman Dreadnought brand made in Canada around 1970. Partially pickled varnish. Ready to play. Here's probably one of the star attractions of this auction. An exceptional Baroque guitar by Alexandre uh, Verboom made in Paris. So one of the finest um, makers like uh, Brock guitar makers so, so it needs a bit of uh, restoration look at the rosette on that it's an incredible rosette it's a really really fine maker of uh, Brock guitars so that's something special for sure um, yeah 20 to 30 thousand estimate uh, I'm sure it will find a buyer, uh, it's not easy to find guitars of that quality. A uh, romantic miracle guitar around 1840, you actually can find quite a few like this, it's fairly standard, it's not terribly exciting. Uh, very nice German Viennese guitar with pretty mother of pearl tears on the tailpiece in plain condition. Uh, once again I don't think that's too exciting as guitars go. Uh, a romantic double-sided guitar by a uh, visionaire uh, Luther and Leon about 1830 he's quite interesting needs a bit of restoration lovely back on that that's uh, very nice nice shape nice uh, wood but definitely in need of uh, a bit of uh, restoration for sure but once again I'm sure you'll find a uh, Loving Home, uh, Anonymous German or Viennese Guitar, this is in a bit of a state, I so you can see quite a lot of those sometimes. Uh, another very fine maker is René Lecotte uh, in Paris, not so exciting um, as the Verboom, uh, well this is in romantic uh, guitar anyway, not a Baroque guitar, but uh, Lecot being a very fine uh, maker. It's got some interesting uh, designs going on there. But I think some of the Lecot guitars are very nice. Five to six thousand. So. Our Jerome jazz guitar with cut sides. Changed mechanics as is. So it needs a bit of a TLC shall we say. And a romantic guitar uh, around 1820 uh, with a mark for Claude Mirko. It's interesting, it looks like Brazilian rosewood back and sides, is it? In rosewood, yeah, it doesn't say Brazilian, but I assume that is. Could be interesting on the CITES point of view, but looks like that might clean up quite well actually with a bit of restoration. It looks a bit dull at the moment, but I think that could be a nice instrument. Uh, Spanish inspired French guitar made by uh, JTL 1880 rosewood back and sides yes nice enough not uh, outrageously beautiful but uh, it's okay uh, Portuguese guitar made in Coimbra uh, bearing Olimpio Medina label 
So that's some restoration. I don't think it's uh, anything too special. Uh, another guitar by Rene Lecotte uh, in the same style, similar style as the other one, but uh, in a lot better condition. So here we are, 15 to 16,000 pounds, 1844, solid Cuban mahogany back and sides. Uh, this is a very fine uh, instrument with a custom made case apparently, but if you, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite beautiful, nice tuning mechanism. These really are like very fine guitars of the of the time, very beautifully made. Yeah, it's a very very nice uh, instrument indeed. Very beautiful. Uh, moving on to uh, a solid body electric guitar, a pink uh, guitar. It's uh, pretty random, but uh, interesting nevertheless. It's well, it's a diverse auction. You can't argue against that. Uh, an old guitar from Paris, 1810. Three-part maple sides. That's uh, curious. Needs a lot of uh, restoration, but could be a nice, uh, nice instrument. Fully massive arch sub acoustic made in 2009. Work of an amateur violin maker in perfect state. Looks a little bit. Uh, interesting to say the least uh, a 10 string guitar German early 20th century ready to play yeah looks nice looks like it's been restored so it's in good condition uh, a baroque five course lute by Sonnier Paris around 1780 partially restored so it needs some other work uh, it's quite uh, quite nice looking instrument. Looks like it has some good uh, history to it. So three to four thousand if you're a loot collector. Uh, a Washburn Burn Parlor guitar from 1900. Mechanics and bridge changed. Some repairs. These quite nice. These old Washburns. Um, some of them can go for quite good money in the states two to three hundred they're not on the same level as like the martins and some of the other parlor guitars the american ones but they're nice here is a loud by jose ramirez madrid 1897 with original label good uh, traditional spanish instrument there uh, another romantic guitar from miracle 1820 uh, Mark saying possibly D uh, Dubois solid flamed maple back and sides need some restoration it's fairly uh, interesting a classical guitar by Jacques uh, Castellucci in Paris around 1960 not aware of that maker could be a nice guitar for not too bad money potentially that's another one of their specials so it's a baroque five course guitar known as michelot's boat indeed interesting so jp michelot um in paris 1784 beautiful state of restoration and conservation modern case seven to nine thousand yeah this looks like a nice instrument interesting uh, sloped uh, back there yeah it looks very beautiful beautiful rosette and this is very nice there's some very fine guitars in this auction for sure uh, an interesting um, boat violin they say by Pierre Lepi Lepilieu made around 1750-1755 some restorations estimate two and a half to three thousand so looks uh, quite curious a spanish guitar by salvador ibanez it's a peg tuned one some of the old ones are some more guitars here 
Um, third party guitar, Lagani model, with a label for Lacotte. Looks like it needs some restoration. It's a curious uh, size. Needs a bit of work. Interesting bird's eye uh, back and sides. Uh, an Italian guitar from Sicily, first half of the 20th century, uh, to be restored. Doesn't look particularly good quality. Uh, romantic guitar by Charles Jacquot in Nancy, around 1830. Interesting uh, head on that. Uh, Jacquot, not quite as uh, valuable or as regarded as Lecot, but still uh, nice enough for instruments. And here we go, uh, anonymous uh, German or Austrian guitar, definitely in need to be restored, uh, nothing too outrageous. Um, an Aria Pro 2 model, solid body electric guitar, actually some of these are quite desirable now, uh, I think it could go over the estimate, so nice, uh, nice woods used, interesting inlays. Here, this is a real museum piece. Uh, Italian double neck guitar, one of six. Uh, six string and a seven string, made by uh, Giacinto Bottolesi in Milan in 1890. Uh, needs a bit of work, but fairly low estimate. Uh, not very practical, but uh, yeah, good for a museum. Uh, German guitar, built around 1920, moth adorned. The sculpted butterfly. Um, I've actually had one of these before in the past uh, to do a bit of restoration, and I can say that they're absolutely dreadful. Uh, this I can't see how this is worth more than like 50 euros. I would not buy it. These are terrible uh, guitars, to be honest. Uh, yep. A romantic style guitar made in Germany, first half of. 19th century Hanover by C.O. Uh, Kruschwitz, two and a half to three thousand. Interesting uh, design. The headstock is quite. It's a shame the way they've got the strings on there because it really makes it not very elegant. But these are very interesting uh, tuners. It's a shame there's not more details in the tuning mechanisms, but it looks interesting. Uh, Wilson guitar of Italian manufacturer, circa 1960. Electronics seem to work. It's interesting of that time when they were reusing all the kind of plastics and things from the accordions, making these interesting things. Uh, Spanish guitar bearing the Francisco Pau Lizar label, made in Valencia, around 1890. It's actually a bit nicer than a lot of the ones you get this uh, nice inlay on the headstock so it's not too bad uh, anonymous nine string guitar needs a bit of attention it's quite a wide body on that one uh, Stratocaster a solid body electric guitar bearing a Fender decal Asian manufacturer electronics seem to be working there's a lot of guitars in here. Uh, anonymous rom romantic guitar in the style of Aubrey Mare, made in Mirko around 1840. Mechanical uh, head, ready to play, beautiful state of preservation. That's uh, quite a nice uh, guitar on the front. Interesting tuning, not incredible, but it's a lower price. Uh, guitar in the Geller style with double top. Always curious to see these double top ones. Uh, solid electric guitar by Fender. That's a Telecaster. Interesting uh, neck there. It's quite nice. Uh, Julius Heinrich Zimmermann guitar, early 20th century. Not 
too exciting. Uh, Miazzi, a uh, brand guitar made in Italy. These cool, wacky uh, Italian uh, guitars getting quite collectible now. Uh, it's another pick Gibson Custom Model L5 Arch Top circa 1970. These are always lovely uh, looking uh, instruments. Not sure about the wood on the back on that one, but uh, I'm sure it's a lovely playing instrument. Uh, anonymous uh, Shrammel guitar, kind of like harp guitar, 13 strings in plain condition, very wide body. This one doesn't look too bad, some of them are not the greatest. Uh, romantic old Paris guitar bearing the Mangin uh, label, made in Lille about 1820. Restored, head reattached. Fairly uh, simple. Uh, another romantic Mirko guitar about 1820 by Cabasse uh, Visionaire. Uh, yep, yeah, some frets missing. A big crack, so it needs a bit of, bit of work. A uh, guitar by Jacques uh, Castelluccia in Paris, Model A, from 2003, so that's okay, 8 to 900. Um, a romantic guitar made around 1820 by F. Uh, Rudelhoff. This one needs a bit of work, but could be nice, nice, uh, nice pack. Uh, Lyre guitar, a circa 1800. These are always interesting. It needs a bit of uh, restoration. Very curious things. Uh, an old uh, Paris guitar by Petit Jean Len Mirco, 1820. Needs a bit of work, but once again, it's uh, got the potential to be a very nice instrument. A lot of beautiful guitars. A uh, romantic guitar, circa 1840, bearing a Dubois mark. Very wide uh, inlays. Interesting uh, instrument there. Another romantic guitar, Mirko, around 1830. It's pretty standard. A Russian seven string guitar with original label, Russian State Musical Trust. Hmm, interesting. It's quite uh, a high estimate for something like this, but I guess they're quite rare. And we're on lot 101, so Romantic Guitar 1840. Interesting, it needs a bit of repair, but curious. Uh, Wood. Looks interesting. And here's a Baroque guitar tribute to Edmund Saunier, uh, made in Paris around 1770. So originally it had five course. Um, so yeah, five course uh, neck, or five courses of strings. Uh, it was a transformed being of 19th century six single string guitar so it's had been adjusted a bit so it was a baroque violin but it's been modified to be kind of normal six string so four to six thousand on that um, a playl half grand piano from 1903 interesting seven to eight hundred you see these you know, pianos are just really not worth anything anymore, sadly. And there's a piano bench. That's quite interesting. Uh, I think we can go past these uh, books, really. Catalogues of uh, instruments. Let's see. Some display cases. Uh, 
a drum a cane hmm that's interesting heart harmonica vice and amp unique keyboard instrument and organ pipes that's curious I've not seen anything like this before so that's uh, an interesting one uh, is there anything else that we missed a few books but I think we can go past that uh, metronomes, mandolin shaped metronomes, some kind of little knick knack trinkets which are in the shape of instruments but not really instruments. So yeah, another kind of earthenware harp. Uh, so a grand uh, Bourbonnaise bagpipe with pewter inlays by Serge Durin around 1990. That's curious. Uh, bagpipe, uh, Bechonne à bouche by Pimpa. And now we are on Hurdy Gurdy's. Hurdy Gurdy. Yeah, by Jean Nicolas Jumier, 18th century. Needs uh, missing a lot of parts needs a uh, good restoration here's an 18th century child's hurdy-gurdy by Jacques de Comte four and a half to five thousand that's definitely an interesting one I wonder who buys these things to be honest I mean hurdy-gurdies are always expensive anyway but and, um, interesting it's an old hurdy-gurdy uh, in need of uh, a lot of restoration Nice looking object though. Estimate of a hundred euros. That looked pretty amazing. In a in a house. Interesting hurdy gurdy. Diatonic keyboard. Twelve hundred fifteen hundred. I like the scroll. These are fascinating instruments. Hurdy gurdies really are. Exceptional hurdy gurdy by Jean Louvet, Paris, 18th century, restored by Pajot in Genzat, 3 to 3,200, that's a very beautiful, nice uh, bowl back, and the round hurdy-gurdy by Pajot, comes with some documents, Another round uh, round viola by Bushel. Hurdy gurdy viola type thing. Interesting uh, head. Fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred. A friendly balalaika. Interesting. Good condition. A bit uh, curious. A uh, large musical saw. Well, that's not something that we see every day. 150 to 200 euros. That seems quite uh, quite expensive. An estimate. Uh, a marine a trumpet. Uh, Tromba marine. Hammer to work as is. Get the old one string. Nice. Uh, trumpet for Nepalese ceremony. Shell covered with embossed silver leaf. Six to seven hundred. Uh, another Vosges, like Epinet de Vosges. Um, beautiful Indian zither complete with calabash need some uh, repair uh, it's a large koto from Japan Valiha of the ancestors Madagascar average condition low estimate there 30 euros 
a punji double clarinet made in Coluquinte used to charm snakes or could be used to charm snakes 500 to 550 um, Asian xylophone a lobby from Burkina Faso large hunter's whistle Senufo from Burkina Faso. It's a kind of noise making uh, scraper device. Fascinating. Uh, Central Africa, Great Lake, Lakes region. It's a kind of cow horn. Got a hunting kind of horn thing. Uh, Kombu, uh, circular brass horn from Kerala, southwest India. Uh, from Yoruba, Nigeria, Healer's Bell in wood. There's a lot of people that collect a lot of this uh, stuff. Uh, Gurunsi from Burkina Faso. A kind of flute, minimalist flute. Uh, Mosi from Burkina Faso, a whistle. Very interesting. Uh, Chokwi, Angola, first half of the 20th century. Uh, two old Sanzas in wood. Uh, a set of two cymbalet percussions with their presentation base North India Uttar Pradesh region a uh, lot of three iron percussions uh, three rattles got cool uh, Zonde Demer Democratic Republic of Congo, beautiful old Kundi harp, uh, from Rwanda, uh, Zither, Inanga, uh, from Asia, uh, Damaru bone drum, Tibet. And from Quelle Gabon, uh, Gombi uh, harp with eight strings. Uh, Uldeme Cameroon, beautiful uh, Quirende harp. Uh, from Gurunsi, Burkina uh, Faso, rare large wooden Nuna flute. From Baul, Cote d'Ivoire, beautiful old drum in wood and animal skin. Uh, another harmonical by Zhao Lin. These are interesting things. Uh, chromatic accordion by Mao Zhen. We can just uh, let's not click on those. Uh, English concertina by Jay Wallace in London. Another 74 bass Cavagnolo accordion. Another accordion there by Hona. Uh, Cavagnolo accordion. Another Cavagnolo and another one. Pitch pipe flute in ebony. Uh, Swanee ebonite whistle. A boxwood recorder. Stamped uh, Eichenhof in Leipzig. Uh, Two Moek soprano recorders and a Mollenhauer C recorder. Good condition. 
uh, flagellate in uh, grenadilla uh, four piccolo flute heads interesting uh, piccolo ebony flute bohem system from yamaha another one uh, uh, piccolo flute in grenadilla bohem system by uh, Thombeville uh, two sliding cuckoo flutes England around 1900 uh, Grenadilla flagellet bohem system by Lambert in Paris and uh, then flute in Grenadilla um, silver flute gold mouthpiece experimental cylindrical flute seven keys brevet slit at head uh, flute with silver um, metal body and silver head from uh, noble box with flute ivory rings and square silver key by w millhouse london circa 1800 uh, flute in uh, silver metal bohem system stamped Roy Benson uh, silver flute bohem system stamped Bonneville Paris um, Grenadilla flute with conical ball bohem ring system by Fernard Chapelain fairly good condition to be revised um, cane flute in fruit wood superficial wear uh, ebony flute ivory rings Schmidt Hamburg circa 1830 uh, flute in silver bohem system stamped Yamaha um, grenadilla conical ball flute uh, 1832 Stunt uh, Claire uh, Godfrey uh, and we have a, a silvery metal transverse flute bone system from Yamaha another uh, flute bone system uh, from Libret Paris Ebony flute with com uh, conical bore, ivory rings, stamped Holtzapfel in Paris, beginning of 19th century. Uh, Lewis Lott, Paris silver mounted flute head. Uh, flute with a conical bore and ivory, silver rings, stamped on all Stansby, uh, Ainur. It's quite an old uh, flute there, 1800 to 2000 euros. Yeah, Cites uh, Dilemma uh, Silver Metal Flute by El Cousin Leon uh, Grenadilla Flute Ivory Rings Hallmark Silver Keys Stamped uh, Heroa Frere Um, silver flute worm system stamped to the body Lewis Lott another uh, flute in silver metal uh, Yamaha um, ebony flute ivory ringed by Andreas Griff in Mannheim The Grenadilla flute with conical bore stamped Goodfroy, Parry. Another uh, Grenadilla flute, conical bore stamped Sycamore, Beer and Amp, London. Boxwood flute um, stamped uh, from Habsburg Hamig. Another silver metal flute stamped Jalma Juliot. Uh, 
uh, an eight key um, Grenadilla flute from Bellisson, Paris. Another silver metal flute from Millero, Paris. Another silver metal flute by Lebret. And a boxwood flute, uh, ivory rings by Lawson, Tottenham, London, around 1800. Slightly twisted. Another uh, Grenadilla uh, cylindrical bore flute. Boehm system circa 1900 uh, an ivory flute with conical bore stamped Richardson so that's another um, CITES uh, dilemma on that one Have a quick look at a few pictures on that uh, another uh, silver metal flute Marked Yamaha, an Ebon Knight's flute by Joseph Wallace, uh, London, um, Boxwood flute by F. Lenar, a silver metal flute by uh, Christensen, Boston. A box of flute, nine brass keys, stamped uh, Luvoni in Milano, Milano, even, 1830. Uh, Lewis Lott's silver flute head, lack of cap. A composite flute in silver, um, body and sea leg with the control punch, but probably Kuznor. Uh, crown um, Grenadilla uh, conical ball flute stamped Martin Frere's brevet in Paris uh, a flute in silver metal stamped uh, Boucher, Boucher. Um, box of flute ivory rings stamped Imant uh, Vish disc in Rotterdam, two spare bodies, circa 1810, two to five thousand there. Uh, another Grenadilla conical ball flute, Pratt and System, silver key, stamps with Boozy and Co. London, around 1870. Uh, Boxwood flute. Um, with Goulding and Co. Mark around 1800. It's the third Boxwood flute by Joseph uh, Bauman, Paris, beginning of 19th century. Another uh, Grenadilla flute, Silver Keys by Claire Godfroy in Paris. Another silver mounted flute by Leblanc. Another Grenadier flute by Dawkins, London, circa 1880. Another silver flute, Bohem system, anonymous. Um, Grenadier flute with five keys by Cousinot. Uh, another uh, Grenadier flute by Nono, Paris. A uh, flute in silver metal by Lewis Lott. Um, to do cabinet from Cabart, including an oboe, an English horn in uh, Grenadier. All the pieces are stamped Cabart of Paris. Looks quite, uh, quite fancy. Uh, boxwood clarinet in C, ivory rings, stamped Goulding and Co. Soho Square, London. Looks quite nice. 
uh, parts and mouthpieces of clarinets. Uh, modern uh, clarinet by Yamaha. Uh, clarinet in A with uh, boxwood ivory rings. Stamped Ulrich Leipzig. A set of various pieces for clarinets. Uh, clarinet in B flat. Uh, Mark Grenzer. And there's a E flat Grenadier clarinet. Boom system, silver keys. Stamped uh, Lefebvre. There's an Ebonite clarinet made by C.G. Con Elkart around 1900. Uh, clarinet in C. Boxwood stamped Buna Keller. A lot of clarinet mouthpieces. So a Boxwood clarinet in C stamped Goulding London. Uh, clarinet, sandblasted silver, noblet, uh, bohem system. Um, new plastic clarinet reeds. Uh, boxwood clarinet in C. Stamped Whitaker, London. Uh, clarinet in silvery metal, bohem system. Stamped uh, Cavalier to be restored. A uh, box with clarinet, uh, a stamp G. Miller, London, 18th century. Um, box with clarinet, stamped Guatro. Um, Boehm system ebony clarinet by Buffet Crampon. Uh, clarinet, um, nine keys, clarinet and boxwood by Martin Ferres, uh, Parry. Uh, some mouthpieces, um, boxwood clarinet um, by Kramer, London, circa 1800. Uh, four um, clarinets. Uh, simple system as is. Uh, modern E clarinet by Yamaha. Ebony clarinet in C. Competent by Ivy. Late by Wood Ivy from Go Wood. That's a bit confusing. A uh, set of four Selma B flat clarinet barrels. Uh, clarinet in C boxwood uh, from Sautermeister in Lyon. Uh, clarinet Grenadilla clarinet stamped Paul Boucher. Uh, B flat box with clarinet stamped Metzler London Wardour Street um, B flat clarinet in boxwood stamped Goulding uh, clarinet in Grenadilla stamped Jacques Albert in Brussels Um, boxwood a clarinet stamped Brown Mannheim circa 1825 uh, Grenadier Oboe stamped Eugene uh, Thomboville uh, Grenadier Oboe stamped Goubet DLG in Paris A Tarogato in light wood, good playing condition. 
um, German oboe in Grenadier. Damaged case. Uh, oboe and Grenadier. Um, system of Marigot. An English horn in Grenadier. Stamped Trubert Paris. Um, oboe in Grenadier. Simple system. Monogram GM. Guattro Market. Okay. Uh, oboe in Grenadier, uh, Cabar, uh, English Horn in Maple, uh, G or C Gerardi, Sucre River Ferrara, uh, Oboe in Grenadier by Buffet Crampon. English horn in tinted boxwood uh, from Tree Bear. I think that's it. Have a look at that from Paris, right? 1860. Um, Miller Rose Grandier Grand Oboe System. Uh, Oboe in uh, Grenadilla from Lore. Viennese model oboe in boxwood, stamp W Horak, Prague. Uh, ba -ba -ba uh, Thirty-three reeds for oboe. Uh, boxwood oboe. Oval runners from Trubert. Uh, then some pieces for oboe, bassoon, and English horn parts. Uh, oboe and Grenadilla stamped uh, Riguta. Uh, bassoon in tinted maple, French system, true bear. Uh, seven pieces of old bassoons, as is. Two small bassoons of Grenadilla. Uh, Hawks and its makers, London. A uh, small uh, Grenadilla branch bassoon, Buffet Crampon. Um, it's a bassoon uh, by M. Mazzoli. Uh, Maple uh, Forgot bassoon by Bruchman Leyden. Uh, bassoon with maple yolk, uh, grenadier body, stamp Trieber, Paris. A contra bassophone uh, in tinted wood by C. Gipel, uh, Breslau. Uh, curved uh, soprano saxophone for children, stamped virus. Oh, that's a, a bit worrying. Um, some reeds for baritone saxophone, soprano, saxophone and clarinet, etc. Um, Selma soprano saxophone. Another curved soprano saxophone for children. Uh, soprano saxophone in varnished brass and Selma. A uh, lot of saxophone and clarinet mouthpieces. Um, alto saxophone by Evette. A uh, saxophone in silver metal. Uh, alto saxophone by uh, Pierrette. It's a Selma alto saxophone, a load of uh, reeds and mouthpieces, 
uh, a Prure uh, alto saxophone. Uh, Sam blasted uh, alto saxophone by Maspaka. Auto saxophone by Dolnet Lefebvre. Auto saxophone by Selma. Um, auto saxophone Anonymous. Uh, auto saxophone by Puree. Alto saxophone by Raymond Dubois Andre. Alto saxophone by uh, Bob Effie. There's another starred one. So this is an alto saxophone by Selma. Three to three and a half thousand for that one. Uh, alto saxophone by C. A. Wunderlich. Uh, alto saxophone by Maurice Boist. Uh, alto saxophone uh, stamped New King by Julius Kilverth. Alto saxophone by Velt Kang. Alto saxophone engraved by Korn. Auto saxophone by Dolne. Auto saxophone by Puret. Auto saxophone by Selma. Uh, Melody alto saxophone by Con. Um tenor saxophone by Selma um, brass tenor uh, saxophone uh, by Paula Boucher quite interesting looking one um, tenor saxophone um, stamped the Parisian ambassador made in France uh, loaded mouthpieces A double octave cleft tenor saxophone stamped Jacquot A saxophone baritone by George Brevet Toulon another star saxophone uh, Selma varnish brass baritone saxophone with low B flat playing condition four and a half to five thousand that's quite a fancy looking thing a three piston cornet by uh, Kuzno um, here's a Hirschbrunner uh, bugle three piston bugle A three piston Stolzel cornet with offset screws from Gouchard. Nice case. A three piston cornet brass by King. Another B flat cornet, um, stamped cornet Arban. Uh, six brass wooden plastic trumpet mutes, 25 various mouthpieces, uh, three piston trumpet by Con, uh, B flat brass bugle by uh, Thimbeville,
Three Piston Strozel Cornet by Martin Ferrers. Uh, Brass Rugen in C with four barrels by uh, Sram Grelitz. Three Piston Varnish Brass D Treble Trumpet from uh, Eterna by Getson. B Flat Trumpet with three pistons in Silver Metal with Engraved Flag by Martin Elkart. Uh, Cornet uh, by Cousinot. English Red Copper Bugle in C flat. Look at that. Three piston silver plated cornet uh, stamped Millero. Three piston horn in brass stamped CG Corn. Three piston gilded brass uh, B flat trumpet. Look at this. By Corn again. Uh, C stroke B flat trumpet. Some blasted. By Millions. This is quite curious. Um, four piston brass duplex um, cornet by Itaru Oki in 1992. Uh, trumpet, uh, silver plated, three piston. Uh, Bach Stradivarius three piston varnish brass B flat trumpet. Uh, cornet and C stroke B flat. Let me see, that's by by King. Uh, varnish plus trumpet B flat by Antoine Courtois. Bugle with seven keys in brass by Courtois Frere. Um, set of 15 trumpet mouthpieces. Trumpet in D by Antoine Courtois. Grasshopper bugle in F in brass. Quick look at that. Attributed to little um, three piston uh, brass trumpet by BNS Mark Newkirkin and Klingenthal, a B flat trumpet uh, by Columbia, B flat bugle by Kuzno, uh, brass uh, cornet, stoza pistol by Courtois. Um, to do. -do, -do. A horn, um, three pistons abundantly engraved by Martin Committee Elkart. Three piston silver plated trumpet by R. Mazaro. B flat trumpet uh, by King. B flat trumpet um, by Korn. Three piston B flat trumpet by King. Uh, B stroke three trumpet in by uh, Boucher, old USA silver plated three piston cornet, um, nickel plated brass trumpet three piston by Olds, Selma silver plated three piston C trumpet, uh, corn uh, rimless brass trumpet, three piston um, uh, three piston. Cornet and B flat by Con uh, C stroke B flat cornet uh, in silver by stamped height standard three piston gilded brass trumpet so richly engraved with a portrait of a woman. Three piston varnish brass trumpet stamp Besson uh, Besson Meha Silver plated three piston bugle by Courtois Pocket Cornet by R Murthura Three piston silver plated trumpet by King Art Deco style brass trumpet by Martin Old varnish brass the Piston uh, cornet, three piston cornet in silver metal stamped Columbia, three piston silver plated brass uh, by Con Queror, a CG Con, 
A Brass Horn B Flat by Halare Sudra, Hornet in Silvered Brass, Stamped Meredith, B Flat Three Piston Trumpet and Varnished Brass from Martin, Three Piston Silver Plated Trumpet, Hammered Octagonal Bell by Arigra, Three Piston Horn by uh, Couturier, B Flat Trumpet um, Stamped. Uh, Lorenzo Sanson, New York. Trumpet in Sandblasted Silver by King. E flat alto trombone with varnish blast side anonymous. Brass trombone in C with three Stossel pistons stamped by J. Grandjean, Paris, okay, 1870. A Guatro Mark, three piston nickel plated uh, sax horn. Um, B flat brass sax horn uh, by Kuzno. Duplex Euphonium in Sunblasted Silver by King. Um, actually, let's have a quick look back at uh, the Sax Horns. The first one. And let's have a quick look at uh, the Euphonium. A decorative English Hunting Horn stamped AOF. A load of mouthpieces for Alp Horns. A uh, Trompe de Lorraine in brass covered with leather and it's stamped um, by Rao. Uh, some horn mouthpieces. Brass horn with very beautiful original painting in the pavilion stamped Gambaro in Paris. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, right, that is very beautiful. Yep, lovely. Got a brass horn. Three piston silver plated horn by Cousinot. Oh, well, actually, this is uh, seven to eight thousand, so that's something quite uh, important. Twelve ancient horn tones. Um, three piston varnished brass horn from Halari. Supply to the king. Five tones of a natural horn, F, D, E, E flat, and C. A brass half moon horn stamped uh, Vil. Lediev, probably 17th century, hammered. Yep, yeah, so that's six to six and a half thousand, very old horn. A uh, load of French horn and hunting horn mouthpieces. Uh, Millen's hunting horn with seven mouthpieces in its hard case. Uh, large single turn hunting horn in A. Um, another kind of special one here, so it's a natural horn. Um, by Tabard in Lyon with eight tones. State of play. Um, it's a French horn with two Stossel pistols controlled by calipers, painted and stamped of Muller Lyon. Very good state of pre preservation. Twelve ancient horn tones. Uh, a helicon B flat in silver metal with three pistons by Gautreau Mark. A repair chuck for music instrument horn. Repair chuck for a musical instrument horn, repair chuck for a musical instrument horn, and another repair chuck for a musical instrument horn. Well, I think that is it. We have completed the uh, this whole um, auction, and I have to say it was tough. I'm definitely pretty sleepy now, uh, I have to say. But wow, what an auction. Uh, that's probably the most um, kind of brass woodwind kind of things I've ever seen really good mix some kind of other more ethnic instruments some really good pluck strings and stuff like hurdy-gurdies a few other random knickknacks some books uh, lots of beautiful guitars a few other instruments so a really interesting auction be curious to see what the prices are um, but yeah some really brilliant stuff um, if I had to kind of pick something I would probably struggle um, but um i think that i would probably look at either this kind of neapolitan mandolin by venaccia or just because it is insanely beautiful i would look at this Sutton by gerard uh de la Plana because uh, this is uh, incredibly beautiful and the rosette is uh, incredible so yeah no it's been a really good auction uh, check it out like I said a link will be in the description 
um, bidding starts tomorrow, so uh, maybe you won't have time to bid this time, but keep an eye on Vichon and shares. Really good auctions, really interesting, really diverse. Pitches were really good, um, no complaints there. It's been a good auction. So uh, thanks once again for listening, and uh, I'll catch you next time. So thanks a lot, and uh, ciao for now. Goodbye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.